Dana Ford, Tennessee State University. What has been the biggest key to your rebuilding the TSU program? Well, there's a lot of different things, but I think the biggest one is uh, we've been able to get some kids that have character, um, and they've been able to uh, execute the things that we've asked them to do on and off the court, and they become better people in the process, become better players, and uh, they've went about it as a, a total unit, and hopefully that's something that we can continue. Give me your general thoughts about the upcoming season. Well, we're interested and uh, excited about how we're going to respond to last year's uh, success. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing if our guys are going to go about it in a mature way, a uh, competitive way. And um, we think that we have enough talent to try and build on our success. So we're really looking forward to it. What do you like most about your team this year? I think we finally have a roster um, that will allow for us to defend and rebound the way that we've envisioned. Uh, the first two years, we were limited in terms of available players, but this year we have 13 scholarship players that are currently available. And um, as long as everyone stays healthy, I think we can be deep enough and uh, athletic enough to, to really defend and rebound. What challenges do you see they're facing? Well, they're very competitive, and sometimes they compete as individuals instead of a unit. So I think that's our biggest challenge right now is to try to get them to understand that it's a team game offensively and defensively. And it's not something that you can turn on and off, but it has to become our identity. And right now, we're just, we're not there yet. What's your impression on the overall OVC competition level? Yeah, I think the OVC is a very competitive league. Um, we have two of the best mid-majors in the country, in my personal opinion, Murray State and Belmont. And then what Coach Woods has been able to do at, at Moorhead State over the last couple of years has put them probably right behind those two in terms of consistency. And then every year, when you look at the rankings, um, in the beginning of the year, they never turn out to be that way at the end. So uh, from top to bottom, it's a, it's a very competitive uh, mid-major conference. Last season, there were a couple of rule changes, like going to the 30-second shot clock. How do you feel that impacted the speed of the game and affected the team? I think it helped a little bit. Um, obviously, the shorter possessions may, may have led to more possessions in the game. Um, then obviously the officiating, trying to keep it as clean as possible, helps some of the scoring averages go up. I think it's good for basketball. I think fans want to see more points. I think the kids want to score more points. So uh, in all, I think it's, it's really helping our game. Talk to me about your non-conference schedule. Yeah, this year is a little more challenging than last year. Um, it's highlighted by Duke, who, who will probably be the number one team in the country. Um, and then we also play at North Carolina State and Vanderbilt. Uh, two Power Five conference teams. And then we play Middle Tennessee, who beat Michigan State last year. And all those games are on the road. And uh, we have our normal regional opponents like Lipscomb, Kennesaw State. So uh, this year is going to be a little more challenging than what we've had in the past.